Okay, let's talk about draft face. So I got this little uh, box over here. I want to do a quick example for you. Draft face works off of perpendicular faces. They don't necessarily have to be connected, but they have to be perpendicular to each other. They can't be parallel, and I'll show you. So we select our first face. That's basically your anchor point. And then you come down here and you see draft face, or you could do shift S. Then select a face. It does say select faces, but I haven't been able to get it to work with multiple faces, but one for now will work. And if we click and drag, you can see what you could do. You just drag it around that circle, and it'll basically do a draft angle to that face, is basically what it's doing. So it'll kind of stretch it out and whatnot. So say like we want to get a basic shape for a vehicle. So let's uh, we'll do some sort of armored vehicle here. Just a real quick demo here. I'm gonna extrude this up so I get that little lip on the front there. And let's go ahead. Oops. Control R tab and all these little commands I you can learn in the rest of the plasticity 101 I'm just going through it real quickly to show you an example so say like we want to make this a windshield so do um, shift s for our uh, draft face select the face and now we can create our little windshield there cool uh, we can even angle things out uh, right here so shift s again angle it out if we wanted so say like I like that but I want this part to come back in so what I could do is do shift a get that corner go find the intersection over here click it knife K right click there we go and instead of doing the draft face, I'm going to do something a little different. Since it's already selected, hit R for rotate, V. This is kind of similar to what it's doing. Now, I think you can get a little more control out of doing it this way. There you go. So we got like one side of our armored vehicle there. Just a quick basic shape. You always want to start simple. So let's do select our object, Alt X, F for freestyle, select the middle of that, bring him around, merge half together, OK. Eh, he might be a little wide, so let's select that face, that face, boom, boom. Hit S for scale face, scale just the faces in, maybe a little wider, boom. But yeah, that is basically the gist of uh, Draft Face. And you can do a lot of different little things with it. Help you uh, design your, get your base mesh going. But that's it, Draft Face.